When opening up the field report form, you will see the following screen. At the top of the page, you will be able to select the date and time of occurrence. Each entry is timestamped, but we have added these fields in case of delayed entries. If you forgot a daily entry, this will give you the ability to backdate to be more accurate about the occurrence. There are four main categories to group information. General information, workflow impact, schedule point, COVID-19 related. For general information, this is going to be your daily note taking. It may include notes from a meeting, a conversation with a superintendent, or a conversation with another subcontractor. You will have the ability to type in the specific location if applicable. These locations will be customized to fit your job. For instance, if you only have one floor on your job and you'd like to split it into the north and south sections, we would enter that here and delete the unneeded floors. The next selection is comment. Please use as much detail as possible. When filling this out in your mobile device, you may use the talk to text feature to save time. You will also have the ability to upload a file, including a photo or video. Uploading photos from your mobile device will be very easy. You will have access to any photo in your photo library, or you can directly use the camera. When completed, you will click Submit, and it will go to the back-end document. The next category is Workflow Impact. As I select Workflow Impact, you will notice that more drop-downs appear on the form. An example of a workflow impact may be you're trying to terminate an electrical closet, and when you arrive at the space, you notice that the floor adhesive is still wet on the floor. So you'd want to record that type of information here. We have a spot for location, crew size, a cost code description. These cost codes will be customized to fit your project. Man hours lost per crew member. Comments, would you want to put as much detail as possible, and also a photo and or video. Click submit, and it'll go to the back end document. The third category is schedule point. This is where we want all relevant schedule information tracked. Again, you have a spot for location and we have given you some options under project progress. Deck pan ready, concrete poured, and also electrical activities such as rough and complete in a certain location. Type in your comment, upload a photo, click submit. Late in the project, there can be many conversations about when something was completed or started. This information can be crucial down the line. It gives us an accurate historical timeline. The fourth category is COVID-19 related. Here you can enter the specific location and the number of crew members that were affected in this report. Under COVID reference, we have the following options to track lost time. Daily check-in and temp check, this is going to be time that dips into shift time. Sequence task change, so anything that changes from optimal sequence and creates inefficiency. PPE cleaning and self-cleaning, this would include hand washing. Equipment and material cleaning, this would include wiping down lifts and workspace. Delay due to work and stoppage, this may be due to an infected area. Training, meetings, and stand downs. This would also include orientation. Stairwell, elevator wait time due to spatial distancing and limiting people on the elevators. Other trades occupying space and not allowing us to work in certain spaces. Transportation restrictions because we cannot have two people in one truck. We also cannot allow delivery drivers to get out of a vehicle so this may impact us negatively. In safety equipment, this would be time dealing with fogged up glasses and handing out PPE equipment. Next, we have man hours lost per crew member. 
Again, comment. Please add as much description here as possible. Upload your photo or video and hit submit.